Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a centroid for an obtuse triangle. The centroid is the midpoint, well, it's not the midpoint. Centroid is the mid, is the exact center, the exact center of the, of a triangle, otherwise known as the balance point. So, let's get on with the show. So, point A, point B, and point C. So now we have our points and we have our triangle. So, first of all, we need to find the medians to find the centroid, because the centroid is made up of three medians for each side. But, even then, to find the medians, we would have to find the midpoints of each side. So, we have to find the midpoint of AC, CB, and BA. So, let's do that, shall we? So, use our handy dandy midpoint tool. Midpoint of AC being D, midpoint of CB being E, and midpoint of BA being F. Now, since we also have our midpoints, the midpoints um, cut the original line in half, so AC is now cut into two congruent lines. AD and CD. So let's go ahead and mark that. This also counts for every other line that's been has a midpoint. So BE and CE are congruent. And AF and BF are congruent. All right, now since we have our midpoints, we're then going to draw a line from the angle from an angle to the opposite midpoint on the opposite side. So, for example, B or angle B is going to be connected to the midpoint D since it's on the opposite side. And we'll do this for the rest of them. So, angle C, the opposite side, the opposite midpoint is F. And for A, our opposite midpoint is E. Well, now that we have the medians, you're going to find them the centroid, which is right here. So now, that's the centroid, or the point of concurrency, the intersection of three lines, of the medians of a triangle. So, that's the midpoint, that's the centroid of this the subtuse triangle. Also, fun fact, the the um, medians, the centroid cuts that by thirds, so you see how uh, G is the centroid, so from D to the centroid, that would be one third of the entire line, that being DB. It's also for every other one, so F to the centroid, is one third of FC, and E to the centroid is one third of EA. Other than that, that's about it. Hope this was helpful for you, and see ya.